Also this morning, Lane Nordland of the Montana Ag Network reports on how agriculture groups are working to get changes in water protection laws. Farm groups say it's to keep America's waters healthy for everyone to enjoy. The 2015 Waters of the U.S. rule was opposed by agriculture groups because of its vagueness and seen as an overburdensome regulation. The groups called for a common sense approach to regulatory reform and that call for action was heard. WOTUS is in the home stretch, so we have the potential to have a really good outcome for cattle producers across the country. Currently, the replacement water rule has an open comment period and that replacement rule is basically what is going to replace the disastrous and illegal 2015 Obama WOTUS rule. As agriculture celebrates a new WOTUS rule, there's a lesser known Clean Water Act issue stemming from the state of Hawaii that may impact U.S. farmers and ranchers. The County of Maui case is a Clean Water Act case, but it's different from WOTUS, and it's about groundwater, and it's about pollution through groundwater. And the County of Maui is about a wastewater treatment facility, but the implications of that case can go as far as agriculture, because the idea is, does the Clean Water Act regulate groundwater pollution? So if you think about that in the context of how we've historically thought about the Clean Water Act, it's always been a surface water law. The case at hand will be decided by the U.S. Supreme Court. So if the Supreme Court decides that groundwater is governed by the Clean Water Act, it has the potential to impact Montana ranchers and, and um, feedlot operators in that you might now need a Clean Water Act permit for what you're doing. So it's a big issue for us and for producers across the country. Reporting, Lane Nordlund, MTN News. The U.S. Supreme Court will hear the County of Maui versus, uh, versus Hawaii Wildlife Fund case in the fall of 2019.